if you're in perimenopause and you're interested in microdosing a GLP-1, this video is for you. One of the most common complaints that I hear from patients is that they are gaining weight, they feel super inflamed, and literally nothing is working. So let's dive into this a little bit deeper so we can better understand why microdosing a GLP-1 might be a really good option if you found yourself in this boat. I'll start off by saying that the primary metabolic disadvantage that we see during perimenopause is insulin resistance. As estrogen levels fluctuate and then decline during perimenopause, our cells become less responsive to insulin. And then progesterone fluctuations can also impact our body's ability to regulate blood sugar levels. This type of metabolic dysfunction can be especially challenging because perimenopause induced insulin resistance is usually not very responsive to lifestyle modification, as I'm sure you already know. We see higher rates of hyperlipidemia, prediabetes, and weight gain that just refuses to respond to diet and exercise. And pushing your body even harder is only going to increase inflammation and cause even more rebound weight gain because inflammation also causes insulin resistance. This is exactly why I am a huge fan of GLP-1s for women in perimenopause and menopause. Whether you want to microdose or take a regular dose, these peptides can be extremely beneficial for reducing inflammation, lowering your risk of cardiovascular diseases, preventing type 2 diabetes, which is very common during perimenopause, and it can help you feel better in your body without needing to run yourself into the ground. These medications are safe to take long term, especially if you are interested in microdosing them for their metabolic and anti-inflammatory benefits. I have seen absolutely fantastic results in our patients, even on very, very low doses. So if you've been on the fence about trying a GLP-1 for perimenopausal weight gain or metabolic dysfunction, I support you 110%. If you have any questions about GLP-1s, feel free to drop them in the comments. And if you found this video to be helpful, go ahead and hit that follow button for more perimenopause and menopause science backtacks.